Okay guys, another great song. That song was was recorded first by our United guys on the album Look To You. So we've obviously taken it and put it into this album. Uh -huh. You guys approached it a different way and uh, what's what are you guys going through with this song? Okay, really the arrangement's the same. Uh, most of the parts are the same, but we just kind of make it our own a bit really. You know, just a couple things here and there. Um, now the song is, uh, to break the song down, the song's in the key of A and um, is driven by a guitar line essentially throughout the verse. Okay, um, so the guitar line is, I said it's in A. So all I'm playing is, is the octave here. That's the opening of the guitar line. To the D. That's the line, okay? So um, we play that throughout the verse. Now the second half of the verse, we go to this line over here. So um, over the, the D, two, three. Into the chorus. It's, yeah, thanks. Um, it's the, it's basically, well, with that line, the, the rest of the band's really doing this, you know. Um, So it's, it's quite short and staccato-y, so that's the, the, the line that's like the common thread that's, that's keeping going. Yeah. Now, Nigel, tell us, you've changed guitar with this song. What, what, why'd you do that? It's just a fatter sound, good old Les Paul, you know, a bit more rock. <laughs> yeah, great. So um, just great for this great. style song, so yeah. Ray, talk us about what you're doing in this song. Well, I'm um, uh, keeping it pretty simple because it's quite a big song, you know, the band's quite big, and so, you won't really hear the acoustic in the mix much more. What you'll hear is, is the strumming and that sort of thing. So, particularly in the chorus, you know, just keeping it nice and simple, so. Nice and simple, keeping it mm -hmm. like just playing the eighths really. Yeah. Rather than the That's yeah, it, yeah. Which makes it a bit lighter feel. Big difference, yeah. hey, with that yeah. rhythm, yeah. yeah. Now, Nights is a solo in this song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which you're very happy about. So, why don't you talk us through that solo? What are you doing there? Okay, so really the solo just kind of made it my own from from the original recording. Um, now again, I've just with the tube screamer flicked the X-Bandora on pedal. That's another overdrive, and um, I'll just play the solo through. So it's just like. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm. You love it. <laughs> so so you, add, you add some effect on that, don't you? What do you do there? Um, well, basically, it's just a couple of overdrive pedals and a, and a bit of delay, and also the wah. You know, on the, on the, on the nine, I actually played it with the wah, so it sounded like, um, more like. <laughs> That's that sort of vibe, so, yeah. That's great. Are you using any particular scale on that solo? Um, well, it's kind of the A scale. 
Yeah. Up here is the F sharp minor, some blues go. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> no, that's great. All right, guys, that was great. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks Nigel. Steve. Thanks, Ray. That's cool. And thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this has been a great blessing to you. And if you'd like to see more instructional material like this in the future, then I would ask that you go to our website, www.hillsongmusic.com, and give us your thoughts, give us your feedback. Uh, we'd really like to do more of this, but we need to hear from you. Again, thanks for being with us. We hope you enjoyed it. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.